Next week in Grand Rapids, there will be a unique conversation about groundbreaking medical research that's happening at the Van Andel Institute. Community Affairs Director Casey Jones tells us why it might not only be important to your health, but future generations of your family as well. It is a conversation about health and the environment right here at VAI, hosted by Carol Van Andel. And from the title, it seems simple. Your health and the factors around you that impact it. But this conversation could be the canary in the coal mine for you, your kids, your kids' kids, and so on. So when I came here, I thought I was running away from Kentucky where the coal mining is taking place. Dr. Jovan van Doof Mietendorf arrived at VAI less than a year ago, bringing with her years of work in Kentucky, studying how chronic exposure to chemicals like arsenic impacts disease like cancer. We look at when you're constantly being exposed, so a chronic exposure. And so somebody could ask the question why someone would have it and another person would not have it. We think what arsenic could be doing is priming, right? So it's priming the cells and changing this. Some people could have better repair systems than others, which again would be due to mutations. So I don't think the cancer is just only this epigenetic, but mutations that could have been repaired, but were not repaired, together with the change in the epigenome to drive this particular um, cancer. It's part of the groundbreaking research in epigenetics at VAI, where Fonduf Mietendorf is concentrated on the now, and in the lab next door, epigenetic research that's focused on the future. I study how the parental environment, so nutrition or exposures to chemicals, can impact the next generation. Dr. Heidi Lempratel says evidence shows what we expose ourselves to now can be transferred to the next generation and increase susceptibility to certain diseases. So what we found out uh, several years ago now is that if we feed the fathers um, different diets, so different dietary sugars, so we feed the fathers really high sugar, we can see that the offspring is more susceptible to develop obesity. Right now, they study on fruit flies. 70% of our disease-causing genes can be found in fruit flies. They're looking at nearly 60 chemicals to see how much of an impact they really have generationally. So these chemicals have been found in the urine and blood of the general US population, so people like me and you. And so we are taking these chemicals, we are exposing our flies, and then we look if there is an uh, as a infect in their children. You know, we are hoping to establish something like a that would serve as a mechanism for uh, policymakers to test these chemicals for these generational effects. The clear symmetry between the two researchers now connected for a conversation that could spark change now and for years to come. Most of the time we think, I have cancer, I've just inherited it from my parents. Or I have cancer, I've done something really, really bad. But it's not really that, you know, simple things that we're constantly being exposed to. That's the environment in which we live in, right? So I think knowledge is key. If we can understand that some of the things we do could be detrimental, not for us, but the generations down the line, that's, that's critical. That topic, a conversation about health and the environment, is happening November 16th here at the VAI. You can find ticket information over at woodtv.com. For News 8, I'm Casey Jones, connecting with community.